In a moment, I'm going to ask Adele if she'll comment on the, um, the way that emotional intelligence and mindfulness skills can support executive function skills. But I want to put in, a, um, for a moment, a pitch for the idea of small pieces. In the same way that all the restaurants in New York now serve small plates to get you interested in a variety of things, it's, it's kind of easy to get cosmopsis. That was uh, John Watts' term for becoming over, overwhelmed by too many simultaneous possibilities. And you get frozen like a cigar store Indian. So if we want every kid in New York is overscheduled, every kid with learning issues has a million places to go. Does every one of your specialties, does God forbid they should go to a tutor or spend some extra time with their teacher at school? And all of these things can be, can be helpful. So, you know, we start to go, well, if they have to go to their mindfulness teacher and they have to go to their executive function teacher and they have to go to their emotional intelligence teacher, how do we, you know, you can, as, as my partner Matt says, you can end up making the perfect be the enemy of the good. So recently on the kind of the small parts theory, um, we have people come in at the first 10 minutes of a session we do and go, how are you feeling? And since we make everybody buy the mood meter, we just hold up the four squares and say, how are you feeling? And if someone says, I feel great, I'm excited to be here. That's great. I go, then let's just do some breathing. And if they go, I'm upset. You know, my mom didn't let me get an ice cream. We do some breathing and some loving kindness. And if they're tired, we do some chi. We do some tai chi sword for a moment. We wake them up or we do some chi channeling. We wake them up for a minute or do some jumping jacks. That enough is enough to kind of wake them up.